was pissed at Cuddy for a good while after the prison debacle. But hey, you can't blame him for what the Hammers did to him. So I decided to go after that horn Felix talked about. Not like I had a whole lot of choice, really. The rent is due. And my landlord's even tougher than the Hammers. The map's pretty specific about where the entrance is. Too bad it's not as clear about where the horn is. Felix did some scrounging before he left, and his notes say the horn is in the tomb of some nobles. The Quintus family. Guess I'll just have to explore. Felix, always helpful, also said that the catacombs are supposed to be haunted. I think I'll go make some inquiries about where a heretic like me can get some holy water. Always go prepared. What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Uh, Beeble Bastard here, and welcome to the third mission of Thief Gold, down in the Bone Horde. And this is a <clears throat> this mission actually can get a little long, so I might have to split this video up into uh, <clears throat> into maybe two or three separate videos because. Uh, this is a pretty, it's a, it's a really big level, um, as, as you're going to see, um, I don't want to like ruin the surprise for you, but, um, it's easy to get lost, so, uh, it, it can sometimes take a while. So as you just heard, um, we're going, and we're going to be dealing with a shit ton of undead. Uh, not one of my favorite things to do, but sometimes you got to do it. So naturally, we're going to get as many water goes as we can. A healing potion or two. Well, we got three, but you know what? One more won't hurt. Um, holy waters, I mean, it is kind of good to have on you in this one. I'm not going to lie. Um, Noisemaker arrow. I, well, we might have one use for that, actually. And... Uh, Let's see, don't have enough for that, don't have enough, I don't really have enough for anything else, uh, I guess we're just set, so we're going in with uh, one noisemaker, two holy water, twelve uh, water arrows, and one healing potion. Let's just get right to it. Okay, so here we are. And, uh, oh shit, I didn't know if that one was actually going to stand up or not, because we haven't even entered the level yet, but, whoa. Oh, dude, every time I... I it's a long way down. When I start the filming, man, that's when all the first times happen. That At least I didn't fall off the edge, right? Okay. So, this is the Bone Horde, and it was, a, according to the story, it's one of the greatest works of the Order of the Hammer. Uh... Well, at some point it was. Uh, it's kind of fallen into disrepair, as you can kind of see. <laughs> um, but, since it was basically a tomb that has some of the city's richest uh, citizens buried there and their families, um, it's a great place to uh, round up some, uh, some cash if you're uh, willing to brave the... Uh, traps and everything of an ancient tomb. And uh, the thing about this level, well actually I thought there was some treasure there, but there's quite a bit of parts in it where you're just going to find little pieces of loot like just kind of strewn about, uh, kind of like where that healing potion was. Like it's, you know, it's, it's all hidden so you really got to do a lot of searching and uh, turning up the, uh, turning over all the, you know, all the stones. It's it can be a bit of a pain in the ass sometimes, I'm not going to lie. But, it's part of the game. Okay, so we got our first piece of loot right here. And, uh, if you... <laughs> You can probably guess what happens if you step on this. Yeah, and uh, this place is loaded to the teeth with shit like that, so be fucking careful. Well, I'll just go ahead and say, make progress. Uh, is there 
There's some place else to go. I'm sure you can all hear the, uh, the moaning. Yeah. Oh, okay, well that's useful to know. Yeah, this place is loaded with undead. I don't care too much for the amount of undead in this game. Uh, I, I still love this game, but uh, Thief 2 is my favorite, and a big part of it is because there isn't so much, uh... Yeah, see that? This, see what I'm talking about? Look at that. <laughs> what I was talking about earlier, there's just shit hidden everywhere in this. Um, in Thief 2, there's not so much of this uh, undead stuff going on. Um, and I don't know if there's actually treasure down there or not. I think there might be. Um, well, if I could jump right, I'd probably hit that rope. And of course, that rope was left by uh, whoever just came before us. I think there might be some. <laughs> Something in here. I don't know if this is. You know, you ever seen Indiana Jones like stay out of the light? Nah. Nothing. Uh, there are traps like that though in this game, so. That was a weird sound. Okay, now we're out over here, and then we're going up. Oh, hmm. This must be one of the gentlemen uh, who was with uh, that uh, that team that uh, that guy that sent the letter to Cuddy was talking about. I've had enough. If Felix wants to stay and be killed, that's his business. But the pay's not good enough to keep me down here a minute more. We already lost Dranko to those damn belching barracks, and Marcus didn't make the jump across that huge chasm. He probably drowned if he wasn't dashed to bits. I thought about looking for his body as he was carrying some loot from a poorly guarded tomb, but it wasn't worth the risk. Then we watched Cather get filled with arrows from a clever trap in one of those great octagonal vaults. Not that I cared one whip for Cather, the bastard, but I have no intention of ending up the same way. I don't expect I'll see Felix again. He seems sure that the Horn of Quintus was uh, somewhere north of the vaults, but I think that was just a guess. I thought those strange X-shaped marks off that branch of the Burrick Tunnels were worth investigating, but Felix said they were irrelevant. Anyways, if the traps and zombies don't get him, the Burrick's will. Those tunnels are a nightmare. At least our marks were mostly still intact. I'm almost out, but I need to sleep. I think the place I found is out of the way enough that the zombies won't find me. Hmm. Well, something got him. <laughs> Not sure what, but... Something got him. Let's see, is there anything in here? I don't think so. And, yeah. This is just the way to get down. We were just over here. Okay, moving on. Save a few minutes here. Okay, we are already there. All right, let's just keep on going. Over here, and 
And there's a zombie. But what's near him here? That's ah, all good. I don't think there's really anything in here worth getting. sense, ought to tell you. Those are some very uh, tempting looking chests, uh, but uh, make note of that uh, and that. <laughs> it's kind of satisfying. Alright, so we got some fire arrows and um, some potions, uh, speed potion. And we actually need to hang on to that... Uh, uh, those fire arrows, because we're going to need them later. So it's good that we got those. Okay, now if the 90s doesn't kill me. Alright, here we go. That's... yeah. Yeah, watch those pressure pads. That thing actually killed me the first time I played the game. Alright, and here we go. And if you try checking the map, uh, this this uh, this part's kind of frustrating for a couple of reasons. One, it's a maze like, you know, sprawling set of tunnels, and the other thing. The main thing that makes it so fucking annoying are these motherfuckers. <sighs> Meet the Burricks. Some really strange cross between a pig, a dog, and a lizard. I, uh, they are so fucking annoying. I hate them. <laughs> And, uh, um, and you can blackjack them, which is, that's kind of a benefit if you can do that and get away with it. Definitely do it. Um, they still will make noise. Um, and if you get a group of them pissed at you, uh, <laughs> Uh, you might as well just reload because it's uh, very unlikely you're going to make it out of that. Uh, okay. So we got two ways we can go. We can go down that way. Or we can go up and through over that way. But I, if I remember right, I think I prefer going this way. Because there's a bit more to see. All right. Let's see. Oh, what's this over here? Hmm. <gasps> oh yeah. Oh, this this yeah. This looks fun. <laughs> uh, you know, if I stay crouched. <laughs> uh. So we got like two, yeah, we got like four things in the wall over there. Okay, we made it. Oh, <laughs> sneaky motherfuckers. Ooh, more. All right, we got some more fire crystals. And what's this dude's story? I've decided to take the plunge. If my records are correct, there should be a stash of fire crystals in the lowest oubliette, which was sealed for centuries, but has since been opened up by the barracks. I'll need the crystals for the torches if I'm going to get the mystic soul. Hint, hint. Just as I was saying, we need fire arrows to get... I didn't even go over our objectives, did I? 
So we gotta find the Horn of Quintus, steal the gemstone. We gotta steal the Mystic Soul, the Mystic's Heart. We need 2,000 loot. And then we gotta get out. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Okay. So now we got a good ample supply of uh, um, fire arrows. That'll do us some serious good. Okay. And now, uh, you know, you kind of met one Burrick earlier, but you're about to see just how much of a pain in the ass these creatures are. Here soon. of them walking around up there. Alright, we need to get down. And let's just try to be as quiet about this as we can. So the Burks, uh, they make these tunnels. Uh, they, they dig through shit. They're kind of a, a pest of sorts for the city. Uh, this, most people in the city don't like them. But there's this huge maze of tunnels. Okay, let's see. So we've got these openings here, so let's see what's down in this one. Okay, a Burrick graveyard, apparently. Uh, what was down on that other end? Ooh, alright. There's... Oh, man. Alright, well, you want to see what the Burks can do? Yes, they burp at me. The idea is try to stay out. Okay. Oh. They burp at you with gas. And where's this? Okay. Uh oh. Found it yet another uh, unfortunate uh, would-be robber of the uh, tombs here. Now, what is this guy's story? It appears I was wrong about the mystic's heart, and I will die for my mistake. The ancient tablet I found it said that the heart would be in a room whose statues, whose gaze is death. But though there are statues here, it's clear to me now that this is not that place. I dare not go back down. The Burricks prowl below in numbers, angered at my intrusion. Unless they leave, I will starve in this godforsaken place. Yeah. That sucks. That really sucks. I don't know if there was anything actually in here. Um... Yeah, I don't think there was anything in here at all. I think you just came up in here to uh, read that shit. And that unfortunate uh, bugger uh, <laughs> starved to death up there. Careful raiding those tombs. Oh. Is this the way we that's the way we came? That's oh, okay. Oh, 
how somebody else met their unfortunate end here. Okay, and back up out into this. So this place is crawling with barracks. Bastards. Oh, nah. Ah. Oh, fuck. Uh-oh, this, this is going south really fast. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get on the roof, you stupid man. Ah. Them on me now. I just need to get up into that fucking area with the rope. And the, all three of them are over here. Oh, oh, they're getting smart. Okay. Get on the rope. No, no, you were almost there. You were almost there. Get, oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, um, like I said, we're about, uh, we're almost at about 20 minutes, so I'm going to end the video around here, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a great night.